All right, welcome back, everyone. Yeah. I'm ending it to, uh, this is invite line. series I'm tonight. Sorry, I'm not really normally casting this, so I am a little thrown off. But to an all, we do have a uh, now powerhouse versus carnage. So we uh we did not get to see map one as that was played off stream we were a bit slow because of the three maps set from beforehand but map one was theme park sadly we both both crow and i who was here with me are uh, upset that we couldn't cast it but instead we're gonna have that went uh the way of carnage seven so now we are on to coastline with uh, Carnage attacking first, and I'm not too familiar with either of these teams, but I think you are. Yes, uh, both so. of these teams have been competing for a very, very long time. Um, Sighted and Haywire are coming in in place of Sabertosh and Husky, I believe. Uh, they were two long-time members of the squad, and they've been, I think... I don't know if they've been fully replaced or just subbed out. So I'm mm -hmm. not sure. Uh, Powerhouse, they've been together for a while. Prolix, Blue Seal, Kira, and Resolution. Uh, the main people to watch out for are, in my mind, it's Resolution and... Resolution and usually someone else. Any of those four usually step up. The main fraggers on Carnage's side tend to be Muscle and Squash. So I'm excited. Of course, like you said, Theme Park going the way of Carnage. But now Powerhouse are a... Uh, <laughs> a powerhouse on coastline um they uh, it's one of their favorite maps so i would not doubt if they win this which is their pick carnage's pick was theme park and if they happen to win our third map is going to be consulate so i don't know i just think o overall i think powerhouse's lineup is a little more geared just towards hard fragging rather than carnage sighted hay and haywire were longtime subs they usually played roles like Nomad and Smoke and the support roles. Thicky is hard stuck support. So, I don't know. I feel like Coastline might just go the way of Powerhouse just because of that fragger. Just more of a frag heavy lineup as well as the fact that they are a long standing Coastline team. Thank you, Thicky. Thank you, Thicky. <laughs> <laughs> but no practice Ash. i like right you at the like same squash. time both came in cthulhu said mood and haywire said shut up idiot <laughs> we're gonna see a hibana band come oh, out hi, haywire. first i love you too haywire wait cthulhu can you can you tell haywire i said i love him too shut up oh and squash god oh my god you're all right well we're gonna see hibana and capital dropped out first both are well just kidding. Hibana's not that uh not strange, but not common. Uh so well, I mean it's cause like if you're gonna ban a hard breacher, it's Yeah, be, you don't want to ban Thermite because Hibana. no one picks it right here. Yeah, it's Hibana is literally just used for like Huka. Uh, hookah. And sometimes Kitchen to open the lobby wall. <laughs> Don't ban Echo. And then Echo will be the last ban because why wouldn't he be? Echo Mira. Off the board. Bye-bye. Powerhouse starting on defense. Would not be surprised to see a Hookah Lounge Billiards defense first. From them, Resolution usually hard sticking that Jaeger and Mozzie wouldn't surprise me. Blue on the Valkyrie. Meister on Prolix is not strange. Cure is usually on the support on stuff like Smoke and Nomad on this map specifically. You see Resolution picking up the Mozzie, so Seal's going to flex onto the Jaeger. Um, and then on CG as well, everyone in their normal roles. Sighted on the Ash is new, as well as Haywire Scar on the Zofia. Last time I saw them play, they were mainly on the support roles. Squash on Buck is not strange, though he's usually the Ash main. Muscle on Lion rather than IQ. IQ is Muscle's favorite operator. Like, without a shadow of a freaking doubt. So it's interesting to see him flex off of that. But I believe when there is a Lion on the board, it's usually... It was usually Sabretash, I think, back when he was on the team. So it's going to be O-Muscle now. I'm glad you have such in-depth knowledge of these teams. Because yeah. you kind of the same stuff. 
And that was before I took notes. Haha, <laughs> brain time. I. <laughs> brain time. <laughs> yeah. So. But I was saying that stuff about Valkyrie too before you were before you joined in. Rose is usually on the hard entry. Colt are on support. Rated is their uh, rated is their hard stuck buck. <laughs> Bro has a notebook now. We love it. <laughs> so I do indeed have a notebook. We're gonna see. Attacker's objective is to defuse a bomb. I love that movie. I love Crow. No cap and diary. <laughs> That is amazing. So, we're gonna yeah. see, I would say, so yeah, you were saying before, Nomad is picked a lot on this map, um, especially just the tight corners, the bushes, the luggage uh, in, in yeah. luggage. Yeah, it's interesting they're not taking it. It's, there's so many spots that you can hide these air jabs and they will hit your opponents. Like right here, there's so many, there's like three bookcases and desks and corners that you can cut off rotations from as Resolution loses out his C4. But he's gonna get almost into a gunfight here with Haywire as I have to off my point. He's not gonna rotate back yet as he's gonna hold up Ooh. firmly. Blah. Squash able to win that gunfight or lose that gunfight, my bad, as Haywire gonna clean it up just on a sliver of health though. The EE1D Lion Ping starts to come down as the Jaeger is forced to run away, hightail it back upstairs, most likely. Mm. But in short, Resolution's job is done, even though he did die. Yeah. He took Haywire down pretty low, as Haywire has lost both his drones, and I believe Squash lost one as well, and along with the one that he kept in his back pocket, and he took one with him. Sighted also wow. has no drones, as... Now Thicky doesn't anymore as well. And they the have fact one that, drone left in its muscles. Yeah. In and the pocket. fact that Resolution was able to not only trade back a player, but take out high, uh, put Haywire Sky on one HP. On that really aggressive op, Thicky as well, now on 50. Squash on Buck. Buck is a huge operator on Coastline in general. We even see him banned out a lot just because of how powerful the soft breach is on this map, especially the fact that you can do it upwards through the ceiling. And Squash, I love you, man. But... Squash has a lot of opening deaths, <laughs> and it's something I would love to see to change from him. I, you know, he's a great shot. I love the way he plays, but sometimes, you know, the engagements he takes were not advantageous. He gets picked off first a lot, but uh, I mean, downstairs control now in the favor of CG, but they've lost a lot for it. They've lost for almost like a full man in terms of HP, as well as Squash. So, and there's only 30 seconds left. Carnage are not really making good time on this push. Though Sighted at least able to trade back Prolix on the Maestro. Two for him on the round as he follows it up on the blue. He's moving up cool vibes. He's able to make it happen single-handedly for his team before Muscle picks up one traded out by Kira. But he's low, and Muscle just swinging it through the window. He'll get the final frag. And Carnage, despite the amazing start they had, it was all just Sighted picking up that 2k there, really wrapping it up for his team. Yeah, very clean end to the round there. Comes out for Carnage as they were able to just sweep through the defense when it came down to it. And right away, uh, Powerhouse isn't even going to mess around with an extra defense, extra sight. Instead, opting to uh, just go for kitchen and service entrance. So... The Goyo does come out otherwise. I think all the operators stay the same. And Maestro, it is the Goyo. All of Carnage's ops stay the same. And I think it, it really goes to show how this site is, or how this map is played and uh, stratted and everything. In that this is like one of the only maps that Lion is reliably picked. Um, and like yeah. I said, it is how Monkey is. Well, yes, that's what I was going to get at before oh, you cut me off. I like saying monkey. I know you do. Especially because when I say monkey, and when we talk about, I think something to be very clear, when we talk about monkey maps, it's M-O-N-K-Y. There's no E in monkey. So it's or like in, monkey. In monkey. That's, yeah, it's, it's see, that's, monkey. That's, that's what you call, like, They're monkey uh, Winston in, in Overwatch. Is Winston a monkey? monkey. He's a, he's a, he's a galera. He is, that's just what he is. He's just monkey. He's a Golira. He, he jumps in your face and he's just monkey. That's it. The point is, 
The point is, it goes <laughs> to show how point? that is. That's all. He's just monkey. So oh, Lion God. gets played a lot on this map, like I said, just because it, it's so hectic and chaotic and just kill focused that uh, it allows the attack to pick this operator instead and not really risk losing a lot of utility, especially because usually that spot, I would have to say, as oh. resolution through Aqua able to pick up his second opening frag of the match. This time, onto Haywire. As, uh... That's pretty rough. As now another C4 line up almost takes down Squash. He's his grenade late for the Annex. And, uh... That's Prolix's C4, and that missed, and Resolution's that hit, but Resolution goes down get a little bit extra sighted taking him down as he's down to about 25 and uh yeah, yeah. but i mean so. again resolution gets a pick and takes a lot of hp off of one guy before finally being traded back so it's really well played to him on the mozzie so far swash is well lit up from that c4 and blues still got his so three c4s one connected one did damage and, I mean, Blue's got a chance to make it three for three on at least doing damage. So, we'll see if he's able to make anything happen as the Valkyrie, as top floor control now solidified for Carnage. Squash doing work above. But it's in Hookah. He's trying to flush <laughs> out the players in Sunrise, despite the site actually being in Kitchen. They just can't get this man out from behind the bar as they're just wasting so much time. There's a minute left, and I mean, Seal has positioned himself under the luggage stairs, and it's actually Prolix on the Goyo there, playing with the TCSG, and I'm sure nobody on Carnage wants to peek that, but it's actually the <laughs> hip fire through the floor! Prolix, what? That is dumb. That he just is dumb. guns him! At least Muscle trades him back, the back of BS. <laughs> As, wow, okay, what a nasty hip fire. 3v3 now, but sighted lit up, so Carnage still in a little bit of a disadvantage. Prolix, I guess, amazed as his, at his own <laughs> shot through the floor, maybe? I don't know. I don't know, he's angry about something. Oh, you know what? It probably was a barricade that was not destroyed. Oh, Vicky is going to go down, breaking a barricade, must have taken down, but that is sighted, able to pick up blue, and now it's a two-on-one, effectively. The Goyo shield pops in sighted face, the explosion enough to kill him as if you were unaware there is damage on that i don't know what noise i just heard but that was terrifying <laughs> I'm Cthulhu, <What>? like. <laughs> Cthulhu made a very loud noise but yeah we're gonna see uh the kitchen site defense win out as now we go to double bars blue and sunrise here as a, yeah, if you were unaware, I don't know how much damage it does because I've been hit by one, but the Goyo shields do have a uh, explosion damage on their shields. I think it's like as much as an impact nade. It's so like and then the fire, or so. yeah, and then the fire just kills you really quickly. Something like that. So, yeah, that was not to be for the ash, as they'll go down to uh, they'll go to double bar this time. Blue and Sunrise. So, the typical tertiary site as Penthouse is just, it's just not good, man. Not without a mirror. It, it's so crazy that I mean, it's it's understood, and I will quickly explain that after I say this. But it's so crazy that the meta shifted so fast away from Penthouse. Well, that's because people were like, "Hey, bands." What if we ban Mira? And then I know, just that's can't what I was going to say. In Penthouse anymore. Operator Pans came out, and the okay ish site that became the, uh, it, well, it was the, the first site, and then people were like, dang, Hookah's really not that bad as a leading site. And so they would lead with Hookah and go to uh, Penthouse Theater, and everyone was like, huh, we're getting Operator Bans soon. What if we just get rid of the very annoying mira on this site and everyone was like huh this okay site or this like good site became okay and then operator bands came in and we realized this site is doo doo it is yeah. so unbelievably bad for the defense to hold because there's no good sight lines that you can get without putting yourself at risk and now we just see like 
super fringe cases of teams like, hey, we're up 6-0 on the on after attack. Let's just go penthouse theater just because why not? Yeah, because the whole thing is you you defend penthouse indirectly from theater with the mirrors for your sight lines. Now that you don't have mirrors, you don't have free sight into penthouse. You can't sit anywhere in penthouse because the window exists and the bathroom exists. So it's just it's just funny. I mean, we've seen it. We've seen it done before. Uh, I think it was Lacroix boys that actually had a really really nice oh. penthouse setup using uh, using Goyo in VIP, which was it was dude, Mr. B. I'm so glad he's back in. He is such a big brain, like, <laughs> dude. It's actually so amazing. Like, interviewing him, too, and his British, his smooth-as-butter British accent. But a C4 will sail out. Also miss. I've missed. Two C4s, yeah. Blue and resolutions. No more C4 on the board as Goyo is running impact. Flashes to burn out the ADS, covering the, uh, the smoke sitting in the shield right next to Mudroom. I believe that's another active ADS. Actually, is it active? I can't. It's moving. No, nope. it's not. A nade. <laughs> I guess that answers my question. Squash <laughs> with the leadoff kill. The nade will sail out and take out Prolix on the smoke. And that's now the player next to Mudroom dead. But more importantly, your smoke gone with, I don't believe, actually, I don't believe any gas canisters. Nope. He did not expend any gas. But regardless of how many canisters were not losing your smoke, well, that's a lie. Losing your smoke that early on is very rough, as now you have to really rely on just whatever uh, Goyo shields are in place. As speaking of, he goes down to Wait, sighted on a what? long angle. That's kind of nasty, as I'm not even sure how that managed to happen. Did he have a blue TCSG? starting to get pushed out here as he's pressured. Squash able to pick up resolution. Blue able to pick up haywire, but the plant is coming down as he's on Lion Ping. He's going to get taken down by Sighted for his second kill of the round. And it's just up to Kira here, all on his lonesome against four. Not anymore as he's taken down. Carnage able to clean up the round very quickly here on double bars. Yeah, so a 2 1 lead now for sure. Carnage Gaming as they were able to just, after that guy. After the smoke died, that guy. Yeah, after that guy died playing by Mudroom, the smoke of Prolix. Man, they just collapsed, huh? They just walked into sight and won their fights. Especially to the flank, all the way from courtyard. After that, Goyo got dealt with from IQ just to top it all off. We're gonna go back to Hookah Billiards. So back to the typical primary site that they unfortunately were unsuccessful on in the previous round. I believe there were. Yeah, I think there have been th it's been a three versus zero at the end of all three rounds so far, if I'm not mistaken. At so least been a little bit pretty dominant from both sides on each of that events. one. Wasn't that one just a four zero or a four line? No, because uh, was it four? It was just Haywire that died. Vicky Muscle to Squash inside it all live. Whoa. Uh... Uh, Thicky wants to go to bed. Thicky sleepy. <laughs> so, so like, someone's gonna have to hit a Thicky nasty thick. one so they can say good night to Thicky. Yeah. But, yeah, we're gonna go back up to hookah billiards here as a. Uh... I mean, honestly, this time it's just don't let sighted walk up cool vibes, and you they would have won. Yeah, uh, more or less. I, mean, I think it. that's also in part because. Uh, Seal, I would assume, is the Jaeger last time. Uh, Seal yes. fell from downstairs. And when I say fell, I don't mean, like, fell out of the map or any of that. I say fell as in he uh, was one to run. He, uh, he he just fell back from his position is uh, what that means. It's a very extended roam play coming out from Powerhouse here as they have gone out to i think penthouse theater more or less as well as vip but we're gonna get some also downstairs play here the mozzie in that same spot as squash is definitely gonna hear him moving around a bit pretty quiet all things considered though as the lion ping comes out the mozzie is going to get pushed Gonna exchange some shots first as the IQ is here to back up Squash. That's Vicky on his back shoulder. As Haywire is also exchanging blows somewhere else. Oh, the Buck is gonna key. skeleton key and There's. swing wide on resolution. 
about 10 health, but he's going to end Resolution's perfect streak here and avenge himself from round one. As now they are both 2-1 and one on a opening picks. And this is actually really extended from Powerhouse here. They're holding all the way down in Kitchen, in fact, alongside oh. VIP. But the Kitchen player, Blue and Eel, are going to go down very quickly to Muscle and Haywire. The EE1B wow. did not come out, actually, I don't think. But uh, able to stall out the defense here as it's just down to Maestro and Smoke. Obviously, the pair that you would want come a uh, 1v2 minus maybe maestro echo but that doesn't Speaking matter sight is able <laughs> to pick up prolix is it prolix or prolix Pro i always said prolix and i've know. never been corrected so i'm gonna assume it's prolix kira cool. gets one on sighted though but the plant's still going down from thicky but it'll finally be finished off by he killed muscle Gosh, on the window he actually killed Wait. he killed muscle on the window down the buck oh <laughs> did he kill him through the buck yeah, he fired two bullets. Bullet one hit the buck in the shoulder, downing the buck. Bullet two shot muscle in the face. Damn. Uh, good night, muscle. But, I mean... Hey, someone tucked him in. Nice. But the diffuser on. went down last round, right? Nope. No, it didn't? Okay, that's because I saw the plant going down. I just didn't know if they got the... The kill in time. So 3-1 now. A lead for Carnage Gaming. As they did choose the attacking side. So it's not strange to see them leading as we go back down the kitchen service yet again. Yeah. Now that this and... site has opened back up, Powerhouse is going to gladly take it. So this is but not I mean, a... Uh, what? The thing that's confusing me is Powerhouse are so famous on Coastline because their roam. Their roam is so good. Especially with, like, with the duo of Resolution and Seal. They just tear people apart. So it's really interesting seeing Carnage just really stepping up their game and being able to shut these guys down is really impressive to me. Um, Resolutions two and four right now, maybe not doing his best seal one and three, but sighted man seven and three on the Ash. Everyone going at least even on the side of CG because I know they're in a couple other leagues as well as Carnage, you know, in playoffs falling to Nobu. Um, Carnage have been slacking a little bit. I love the guys, but their their performances have been a little bit lackluster, so it's good to see them, you know, putting up a real fight against Powerhouse, who placed pretty decently in the standings. But, uh... Yeah, like I said, it's impressive to me, just the fact that they're able to shut down Kira and Seal... Or, uh, not Kira, Resolution and Seal so handedly, with mm -hmm. the exception of that... The first round of Resolution got a couple nice picks on the roam as <laughs> everyone, everyone got pinged. <laughs> wow, okay, so the Lion Pink came out, everyone just freaking booked it. Thicky gets one before Resolution trades off and Haywire will take off Seal, and now it's a 3v4, and Diffuser goes down from, uh, from I believe, Muscle. Thicky will find another on Kira. Blue lit up as well. Thicky and Muscle are very low, but still plants down and it's 2v4 for the defense. Things not looking very good for Powerhouse. Resolution <laughs> though, th okay. Just opening the window will get Thicky on the repel somehow. C4 sails out trying to find anyone else, but it'll miss. The run out is caught by Haywire. And it's all up to Blue with only 18 seconds left. He's got 10 seconds to make something happen. Running out will find one. He drops one with a headshot, but they know exactly where he is. And it's the Lion to find the final pickup. Two men left alive at the end there. <laughs> Carnage that Games find another uh, another victory. Bro, he got <laughs> he was repelled in front of the window and just blasted him with that <laughs> shoddy. We're gonna see a fourth round of five now in favor of Carnage. As they're really rolling, and I was gonna say earlier this map is probably the most attacker sided in the pool. Villa's trying to make a claim at that, but at the same time, um, <laughs> it was... Uh, stop I laughing feel that while I'm trying to talk. No, you see what Thicky uh, put in chat? Yes. I did see that. We can't talk about that. Oh, yeah. Muscle's going to switch off the Jackal from the Lion. So that is the first round without the lion pings that are Defender, so loud and booming and attackers. annoying. But we're going to get back here to kitchen service. And as I was going to say, um, 
I, you know, I... Villa is still very swung defender sided, but there's also a lot of attacker sidedness coming out now for whatever reason. I don't, I haven't gotten to examine a lot of Villa yet to understand why teams are all of a sudden losing defenses like 4 2 or 5 1. But Latin America started it out, and now NA is starting to pick it up. EU still likes to play Villa super slowly and super cautious. And they are causing these defenses still to go 5-1. But yeah, there's no real like def att attacker-sided map similar to uh, Coastline. I almost just called the whole map Penthouse. Um, Coastline in its own is basically... The last attacker sided map in the pool. I guess you can argue consulate. Uh, Border as well is starting to make that claim. But none of them have been consistently attacker sided like this map. Especially since map bans. Or specifically since map or operator bans. Oh, what? out the window. Or doesn't hit anything. Poor resolution. Oh, no. <laughs> that is something. <laughs> Haywire Sky does not want any bit of that. And that's something I was going to say is uh, a problem point for, Re for Powerhouse so far. Only a handful of their C4s have been landing. And that's with two or three operators bringing C4s every round. Oh. The smoke is going to get seen and found by Squash. Able to pick that one up for the fourth straight opening pick from Carnage here. Kira going down very early. Yeah, on the smoke. Losing too. your smoke is really yeah. bad. Only a minute into the round? That's so rough. You can see, too, he had the advantage on the angle until he moved. And then that, it, like, it, like, the way he was playing it, the buck would have had to expose himself before he could see Kira. And playing with a shotgun from below like that, you could easily just one tap him down, but Kira moved. And that allowed Squash to get the upper hand, so. He had the high ground, and Kira lost the fight, so... 5v4 for Carnage Gaming, but I mean, it's low on time, but Muscle will follow it up with a kill on the Prolix. And now, despite there being low on time, they have a fantastic man advantage moving onto the kitchen site, clearing out horizontally. They've still got to deal with Seal and Sunrise, and the Mozzie's on Rome. Maestro is the only man actually in the site. If they can take him out, that's an easy plant for Thicky. so... Yep. be interesting uh, but seal at least able to frag back on muscle the jackal will go down but he's very very lit up for his trouble as a mozzie pest will find one frogs with a frowny face and chat but resolution finds squash so now back even to a 3v3 all of a sudden sighted only eating a bit of damage but seal very still again very lit up sighted might just win off the fact that he has more hp against the jaeger but the cross is being held by maestro he peeks into it and that he's surely a dead man at the hands of the Alda, but no, he misses it! And that's gonna result in Seal dead with no trade back. That's so unfortunate before he's able to finally get it, but Haywire Sky finds him. It's all up to resolution on sight. Can he get the big 1v2? He finds one, a great headshot there. Thicky's lit up as well. So doable for resolution. Can Thicky find it? The pistol's out, but no, hitting the deck is the Mozzie and Powerhouse. Will finally take another round. Round six goes in their favor after a 1v2 resolution. Hmm. Great gunplay there by resolution as uh, he was able to make that one work. And I don't know how uh, I think he ran out of ammo with the G8, but he managed to. Even though it is the lowest uh, ammo count on all the LMGs, but it's still 51 bullets. So that is <laughs> no why don't you just take why don't you just take the higher damage gun of the commando you're actually lo potentially losing gunfights because of it haha <laughs> g8 go burt okay don't what? like don't like read don't, memes out loud don't drum mag go burt I, I love those memes. It's so fun. Prolix is having not. Speaking of fun, though, Prolix is not having fun. Homie is one and six. One He's and gotten six. picked off twice early on for the opening frags. Now that you keep those notes, I'm starting to keep them. They're so much fun. Numbers are fun. Numbers are cool. I like numbers. Okay. All right. You know what? I just like numbers. Okay. Numbers. 
will never betray me. That's true. Unlike Cherish. Huh? I feel like one day it's gonna happen and I'm gonna be very sad. And I might have to break up with you. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, no real changes here. Nothing really surprising from either side. Uh, we're gonna see actually seal on the Nomad that Carnage did not bring at all on that their attack. To be fair, they didn't really need it. They dealt with their roamers pretty handily. So when it came down to things, it uh, was just... And is it handedly or is it handily? Yeah. Okay. Handedly. Okay. Yeah. Well, they it's dealt like you with hand the roamer. And you diddly. That's the worst possible way you could have described it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What? Well, Sorry about it. We're going to see they dealt with the roamers handedly, so there yes. was no need for the gridlock yeah. or the nomad, which we And half the time, too, they had a man advantage, so they could dedicate a dude to flank watch. Like, you saw Thicky there, like, in the vase, mm -hmm. watching luggage, got the pick on, I think it was Seal. But Thicky, looking like he's going to be the first death, but he's able to... Oh, just skirt away with 25 HP. Now taking the fight against the man in the Hall of Fame. That's the buck of prolix the c4 comes Whoa. out the buck darts away just in time though not finding any kill there no damage at all either but he's finally gonna be felled prolix with the opening kill on thicky there it is prolix maybe having some fun now two and six but still that's the valkyrie dead uh i mean not too much utility off the board for a minute and a half that's not bad yep they just lost out uh prolix didn't lose very much health and thicky only, uh, well, Thicky used his C4 and lost his life, as Sighted also does not have his C4 anymore. The IQ is going to get aggressed on here, but the oh, Jager actually out. vaults out. Squash? Is Squash and then gonna shoot? Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> That's blue, not Squash. Um, oh, no, Squash was... I know. What? Are you okay? Blue, able to refrag. I thought you were pointing out blue fixed on repelling up yeah like i was like wait he's just gonna repel <laughs> he's just up gonna let his homie <laughs> die there no he was yeah, able to clean the... it up oh, as prolix skeleton with a key. skeleton key from down downtown i guess across the map downtown but what whatever it was like five feet away Hero, from him. shut up it, we could see it the mozzie's gonna clean up another kill as he loses that gunfight after you got me all caught up kira with two to end the round Powerhouse able to clean up hookah and billiards here as, well, Mozzarella is uh, not having a great time. Mozzarella. 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 Yeah. I bet. Mozzarella. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Powerhouse just kind of, you know, inching their way back to an even contest. It's three to four. You know, they're not out of the running yet. If both halves go 4-2, to two, obviously, you know, we will have OT. And it is Carnage starting defense, actually. Powerhouse take attack and OT. So if this does go OT, I can see Powerhouse definitely in the advantage. As we go down to Kitchen Service oh, Entrance, no. O-Muscle not going to stick on that Valkyrie. Actually picking up the Legion first time we've seen him this map. But there is a Thatcher and an IQ on the board for Powerhouse, so maybe... I don't know if he's going to get the same mileage as if there were a Thatcher man, but hey, you know, I'm just going to let Muscle do Muscle. He's he's nutty enough to make it happen, so. Yeah, so, uh, just checking around some kills here. Resolution and Kira are the only ones on their team that are positive at 7-6, 6-5. Uh, meanwhile, on Carnage, Sighted is kind of going off alongside Muscle. So, Five nice totals there. What? I just... <laughs> I made the mistake of looking at Twitch chat. Ah, uh, that probably is a mistake. We love... We love Twitch chat, but... We're gonna see, uh... Oh, no, there's a bit of a defense change, I guess. Just in that muscle is going to be picking Legion instead of the uh, the Goya that we saw from Powerhouse. And there's not been... Granted, this is only defense number two. But there's not been Goya play coming out, really, from Powerhouse. As I have no clue what Thicky's doing, but he is getting so aggressive on that front lobby. 
He was wide peeking that front oh, door in your attack. Lamborghini. As now he's going to start to get aggressive and look for Kira here. Wow, but yeah. Holding, Agro Maestro. I mean, he's got the gun to do it, but I don't know if that's the operator you necessarily want to put in that position, as if he does get taken out. Losing a Maestro early is akin to losing a smoke early. It's not great. You, use a lot of, you lose a lot of utility control over those evil eyes. A good gun in the hands of the Alda. But it's upstairs control trying to be gained by Powerhouse, but Carnage are holding it firm. I believe it is Muscle and Sighted up there, I want to say. The Legion and the Mozzie being droned out. There's a player in the CC, though, and that's the Maestro. As we said, very, very aggressive from Thicky, trying to find Kira, but he's just going to... Man, he is just running all over the place. He does not want to sit still. He's like a kid with ADHD, just running all over the place, trying to find picks as Haywire Sky will get the opening on Resolution, who just tried to walk into A, and Thicky, that aggro maestro, I guess, pays off. He finds Kira, and the run out from Muscle to try and rotate back downstairs. I think he just jumped out Penthouse window to rotate back. And wow, quite the advantage for Carnage Gaming already. Yeah, definitely heavily in favor. Thicky is pretty low as Haywire is also... But now... Prolix on just half health is uh, going to start to get flashbanged. He's going to choke on some gas as well, taking him down to 25 as Thicky takes a bullet for his troubles. But not aware that he could have sprayed Prolix through the wall, but it doesn't matter. Sighted hits up to double digits as he cleans up his tent now, and Carnage is very set here to win this round out. It's all on blue and seal here to have to push in as now... Blue is going to take, get taken down to half health from Thicky and taken down that seal. And it's just up to the Thatcher all alone. He's going to pick up one, but oh, the, the run out from the Legion able to confirm it as Carnage cleans up round eight for a 5 3 lead. As a. Uh, I mean, still no, still no uh, flawless rounds. We've seen a bunch go to five to versus one. But none have finished out flawlessly. A um, bunch of players so far have gotten aggressive on that last frag and went hunting for it. But yeah, I mean, when you have a man advantage like that, you can kind of afford Wait. to, I guess. Am well. I dumb? Or how is Carnage on Hookah Billiards again? They lost Did... it. Right. You okay? So what I looked at was I write attack and defense on it, and then I, for my for my round totals, I uh, I was looking at that powerhouse started on defense, and I was like, huh, they yeah. just won this site. I saw defense, <laughs> and I was like, huh, the defense just won this site two rounds ago. They should be able nice. to go here. But I forgot that there's a round switch. You would probably hate my notes. My notes are as monkey as my control scheme. I don't doubt that. But I mean, it, it works probably... for me. You're probably one of those guys that still runs with arrow keys. What? All right, shut up. So, <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. O Muscle is going to be picking up the pulse too. That's a brand new pick. So he's going to be playing downstairs, tag teaming with the Mozzie of Sighted, trying to play for that C4 from below that we always see on this uh, hookah billiard site. That is, who was that downstairs? Was that Squash? Squash is probably, I assume, playing downstairs with them. Yeah, okay. So he's playing Sunrise to try and cover their backs horizontally and it's actually muscle playing in kitchen interesting so all three players downstairs are very very spread out and they can't really play for a trade unless muscle sticks in sunrise with squash but yeah i don't know so powerhouse can easily take advantage of that if they just focus on pinching out one player at a time they see one on cams upstairs in sight that's likely the maestro of thicky rotating his cams around yeah it is he's gonna find the drone of nope the drone of products actually gets away so unfortunate there but it looks like we have a uh, a clear from penthouse side coming in from half of powerhouse while seal alone will go up towards aqua and i don't know how i feel about s just solo holding aqua like that when you have literally no control over anything else uh yeah i don't know actually i don't know where he went where did he go as well i guess muscle's just gonna open it up on the resolution so the tag team in sunrise it looks like a wall bang out from mudroom maybe we'll find the iq first and with an oh with a pulse and a mozzie on the board that is a huge first pick on the side of carnage yeah resolution since uh, he started out with two frags early on the first two rounds, he was the opening killer. Very deadly those first two rounds. And since then, 
his guns have gone oh, quiet now, on his yeah. uh, opening frags. He's lost his su subsequent three opening engagements. Is now the oh. Mozzie from above bucked down, oh, wow. blasted apart after he got pinged out. And that was excellent play with now, the Yeah. Flashbangs are going to come out to burn the ADS as a. Uh, now the buck is looking to frag out this maestro cam. Poor camera goes down, watching its own demise. That's also the main C4 player from below down. Now it's just muscle. So, I mean, if you can get the man advantage, if one C4 kill is traded back, I mean, it's not as big of a deal. So you see muscle, he's down there in office. But if a player tries to flank down there, I guarantee that he might not be aware of that. Through the wall, Seal is so lit up by the Alda of the Maestro. 81 bullets, by the way. And he's going to actually get down by that C4 because they don't clear it. Actually, he kills Prolix and downs two. <laughs> and now all of a sudden, dude, that was probably the biggest C4 I've seen in this league. And Akira gets finished off by the Jaeger. And it's actually, uh, oh no, Haywire, Haywire got credited blue. with one of those. Haywire shot blue, I guess. And down so yeah, I guess he shot blue, but the yeah. C4 down the other. And that's a 3k on the round for Muscle on the Pulse. So he started off in Sunrise, finished it off with the C4. Excellent play from him. And they'll put themselves on map and match point as they again if you guys weren't here when we said it uh in the beginning of the game because it was off stream they already won theme park 7-4 so cg are are pushing for this 2-0 and powerhouse man their resolution and seal unfortunately it looks like they've gone quiet blue and prolix have been doing a little better on the attack but it's not enough to get them the round wins unfortunately as now double bar is the site to come out from uh from carnage gaming mozzie yet again on the board for muscle who's now put himself at 11 actually passing sighted in the recent rounds so very well done to him he's really stepped up on the defense everybody on carnage gaming going positive right now at least by one it's really good to see it's nice to see them all fragging out i mean it's pretty even too like you've got two guys on double digits two at seven and then your main support player at five that's really where you want to see a team. Powerhouse, unfortunately, just struggling after resolutions fall from grace. Not a single player positive. Everyone negative. Yeah. In these uh, last rounds, especially, it's been very rough for Powerhouse here as they're getting relatively mopped up in these attacks. Definitely. Uh, were you saying this is Carnage's famous map or is this? Uh... This is Powerhouse. Oof. Powerhouse play this map so much, and I mean, maybe that's maybe Carnage are using all the vods of Powerhouse to their advantage. As I don't think Carnage play this match, uh, play this map as much as they do. But again, okay. like even if you have vod review of someone on coastline, it's so many times it just comes down to whose guns are hotter. And it's mm -hmm. just surprising to me that Powerhouse's guns have cooled off. I guess you know Haywire, Sky, and Sighted. When they were on the sub rolls, they were playing more support, but they've really been let off the leash and they've shown us what they can do. I definitely won't sleep on them ever again. 10 and 6 for sighted. Haywire, despite being on that support roll, still 7 and 6, doing very well for himself. A C4 sails out from muscle, but it won't collect anything. Maybe a little bit of waste utility there as well from the Valkyrie. No, okay, that's a pre placed. So she's going to be watching on cams for that as sighted tucks himself under the reception desk. Yep, so it looks like just Squash and Haywire here is Squash, oh. the pre-placed, able to take down Kira. Zofia going down. Oh my god, he did go flying. Wow. Just, I guess he was right going towards the doorway as he just got blasted into the hallway. Squash able to confirm his fourth in a row without a death. For uh, opening frags, is sighted now helps out with resolution, putting himself up to 11. Here comes the Nomad to contest. Oh, but almost just sees it. Oh, muscle from behind, though, able to clean up the field. Prolix able to finish <laughs> off muscle, as I don't know what he was shooting there. Squash able to confirm a second, and it's just down to blue on so little HP. He's going to try and find Squash, unable to find him, but there it goes. He confirms his first kill of the round, as now it's just up to him against basically the world is smoke with three gas canisters the maestro and a very aggressive jaeger all staring him down map point and match point here Reloading, yeah. carnage is I mean, looking to just close this out safely 
Blue's a good player. He's done... I mean, he's had heroics for Powerhouse before, but Carnage have been looking on point this whole game. So, and Gas Canisters are going to start coming out as well. Blue actually eats a hell of a lot of damage. He just pushes right through it. The pre-fires don't work out Single for him help. either. One HP, one puff of the gas will bring him down. One shot from an evil eye, one stray bullet wall banging him. And he's just going to bait for kills for now. 20 seconds left. He knows it's nigh undoable. Peeking around the mudroom door, can he find the one in pink there behind the shield? And it's the gas to finish him off from the smoke of Haywire. Carnage will win round 10. That is a 7-3 victory on the side of Carnage. And it looks like we have a relatively quick match compared to the one we just saw prior between Nordic and Valkyrie. Carnage cleaned it up in a... Uh, I mean... I want to say a close 2-0 because I like both teams, but man, every round... It didn't so feel that close in that If map. we look at every round that Carnage had won, it was 3-up, 4-up, 4-up, 2-up, 3-up, and then that last round was 3-up. And then, yep. yeah, it was just, wow. Uh, unprecedented dominance, I guess you could say. I was expecting Powerhouse to push us to map 3, but... It was not meant to be. So, very, very well played by Carnage. Specifically, their muscle and sighted at the end, both putting up double digits. And uh, we can show off our new replay system again. That's exciting. I like the replays. So, yeah. as replays play on screen, that's going to put uh, Powerhouse actually, or not Powerhouse, Carnage Gaming in first, I believe, just by grace of them getting a 2 0 rather than a 2 1. Um, I think. So mm -hmm. for now, I, I think Carnage Gaming are going to sit up in first. Uh, Nordic in second place with the 2-1. And uh, I'm really excited for tomorrow as well. It's going to be uh, Bonk versus Ultra. Ultra, I believe... Oh, Ultralight or Liberty. So it'll be Bonk versus who were previously known as Liberty. And, oh, dude, that should be good. It's Nobu versus Breadbaggers. Okay, that should be fun. Breadbaggers are, like, a ranked stack who made it into ESA because they're actually really coordinated and a good team. Versus Nobu, who are also just a ranked stack who are a good team. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I managed to win the invite finals last season, may I mention, just a few weeks ago. Uh, so that's going to be exciting. So, yeah, uh, that's going to do it for me and Cherish. Cherish, thank you for stepping in on Ocho's behalf. No problem. As, uh, my normal co-caster on Fridays didn't show up. Oh, good. Sad. But uh, thanks so much for watching. Tune in tomorrow, same time, 7 p.m. We're going to start off with Bonk versus Ultralight. It'll be me again, likely joined by Loaf, at least I hope. Thank you all for tuning in. Have a very good night.